Steering columns. Steering columns in Triumph based specials to be very specific. I'm building a Gentry and the steering column where it passes into the engine bay through the bulkhead is a little bit not as well supported as I would have liked. So I went in search of a possible solution. Uh, couldn't find anything. So went to the Facebook world, which is brilliant. I'm on several groups and Rob Seedhouse came to my rescue with a excellent solution, which I'm going to share with you today. So stay tuned. This is the outer steering column and as you can see it's secured very well to the framework of the car. As you can see here there's a very small amount of plate in the upper steering column bush which I'll be replacing. The steering rack has been fully refurbished and you can see there is no play in the steering mechanism. All the play is however at the exit point of the upper column where it passes through the bulkhead. Following my post on Facebook, Rob contacted me and shared this photograph of a previous car that he had owned which had an MGB steering column and the photograph looked really promising. So I contacted Rob and we had a little bit of dialogue and eventually I decided that this was exactly the right solution for me. Let me describe the use of this bearing and how it works. So this, <coughs> this bearing here that is going to be locating the steering column as it passes through uh, to give it a little bit more support at the bottom end of the upper column um, is uh, a spherical bearing and it's spherical because it rotates inside this these two pieces here which sandwich the bearing so I'm just going to show you what happens when I tighten up the bolts on on this tighten up the mounting bolts You just set it at a rough angle and that angle will be set by your steering column where it passes through the bulkhead. So you just nip that up and that bearing is, is locked solid now it's locked at that angle but it's still free to uh, still free to rotate and that's it i did find it difficult to find any suppliers that could give me the right information that i needed before i placed the order for this bearing but eventually i found this company in wolverhampton and craig there was very helpful uh, sending me photographs and we had quite a bit of dialogue and eventually I agreed, we agreed that it was the right application for this bearing and I placed an order. Here are the details of where I bought the bearing from. You can get them cheaper from other places but I felt it only right because Craig had been so helpful that I placed the order with them. Here you can see both columns. The Triumph one, which is mine on the right hand side, is smaller than the MG one and I couldn't get a bearing of the exact size to fit. So I've had to have a sleeve made up to make up the difference. So now you know all about the bearing and what it's used for, you might like to check out this video next to see how I've used it and the extra support that it gives me.